Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. A couple of things first. I have not, I didn't post a video last week, so apologies. Last week was kind of a crazy week for me and yeah, a lot of weird drama drama. I don't know if I'll make a video about it, but literally figured out I have scoliosis which was a surprise to me, but makes sense as to why I've had back pain my entire life and I have the body of an 87 year old woman. So, <laughs> hooray. Number two thing I guess to talk about, it is literally midnight. I am leaving in the morning to go on spring break with my family. Jack is coming as well and he just got the week off of work. So we're all heading to a cabin in the mountains. I'm literally in my pajamas. <laughs> it is Mm, 1246 so it's almost one o'clock and I'm just starting this video and I got a feeling it's gonna be a long one so buckle up I'm so excited to film this video so I originally well I've seen a lot of people have done this video but recently um, my friend over at once upon a brawn Bronwyn filmed it and then Emily at Emily's Wonderland gave credit to Bronwyn in her video so I'm giving credit to both of them as I've <laughs> seen their videos recently and wanted to do this one as well um, but I wanted to wait specifically to do it now because when you all are watching this video on Friday April 5th it will have officially been one year since my last shift as a Disney cast member I moved home on April 6th of 2018 and I had my last shift on April 5th. So it has officially been one whole year since I have been home from Disney, which is absolutely bonkers. It does not feel like a year, but then it also feels like I've been home forever and never even went to Disney. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's the craziest thing. Um, and I'm so, 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 so excited to open this box. I assume you can tell from the title, but I'm gonna be opening my DCP memory box, which is so crazy. I literally have not opened this. I have not even peeked at it since I got home. So I have, I don't even remember what's in here. So I kind of upgraded from the normal little like DCP memory box that they give you. I actually think that memory box is inside of my memory box. Um, but I upgraded. I have a big box. I pulled a few things that weren't in the memory box, but some of my favorite things. Because um, these I just have like out in my room and in my space or in specific places so I don't lose them. And I wanted to pull them out first just because they're some of my favorite things. So first, this makes me like so nostalgic looking at it, which is crazy. But of course, my lanyard. Um, so here is my blue ID which is crazy. Sorry, it has a kind of weird reflection on it. Here is my name tag. This is the one that says Sarah Beth from Danville, Kentucky. I got that one um, made after my college one. Um, and here's Peter Pan. His is, that's the lanyard I got. Um, and then my other, one of my very other favorite things is Catherine's roommate gift for all of us. Um, it's what held our keys. Um, in our apartment so that's one of my favorite things I just have this sitting out in my room just I love this this is like so I mean I just saw this every day used it every single day it just like makes me so happy looking at it and it's Peter Pan it's so cute um, and then this big mug um, this is literally the size of my head it's massive but I got I bought this mug when I was in all-star music for Hurricane Irma with Catherine and Mackenzie and Marley. So I was scared out of my mind, literally thought I was gonna die in a hurricane <laughs> in Florida and never see anyone again. We survived, obviously, but um, I bought hot chocolate and a mug from um, the gift shop there. So this just like, I mean, it's Mike Wazowski and a cute mug and huge and wonderful anyway. But this just reminds me of Hurricane Irma, and that was by far some of my best memories that I have from the college program as a whole was Hurricane Irma. So I just love this mug. I have this sitting out and I use it. So it wasn't in the box, but I wanted to pull it out just because it's one of my most favorite memories from the college program. Okay, but now I'm going to like crack this bad boy open and see what we got in here. Okay, so I actually have a lot of my ears in here. Um... I guess I put these in 
right at the end. I just have like three pairs in here. I don't know um, why I have these three in here. Um, but yeah, so I have my Peter Pan ears, um, just these white floral wire ears. And then this is actually a pair of ears that I never wore out. Um, I really did not actually like wearing ears that much in the parks, but I bought this pair. I cannot for the life of me remember, blah, 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 remember where they're from. I could probably find it on Etsy if I tried hard enough. But these are cone shop ears. Um, they have the Plaza, um, Plaza Ice Cream Parlor and Starbucks, um, what's it called? Costume materials and there's a little ice cream sundae up here. And it's just all the colors of the ice cream parlor. And I saw these and I literally passed out and died when I saw them on Etsy. So I had to buy them. I literally never wore them once. But, I mean, this is just like a keepsake I will have forever. So if I ever get around to like making a shadow box of everything, I'll definitely put these in the shadow box. Just because it's so, like that's just our material. And it makes me so happy when I see these ears. I love those so much. And then also kind of going along with that, when I left the college program, my mom like worked really hard to try and find me cone shop stuff because obviously there's no merch for the ice cream parlor. Uh, she got one of the Disney small shops that I'm friends with. Um, I'll put their title or their name because they changed it. It used to be ODAB Designs. I think now it's like Magical Dreamers Apparel or something. I'm not 100% sure. Let me look that up actually. Oh, I was right. Magical, magical Dreamer Apparel. And they actually made me this shirt. I don't know if you can see the whole thing. It's really wrinkly because it's folded up in this box. But it just says Disney College Program and then it has the ice cream parlor and then it says 2017 to 2018 on it. Um, that was just like a sweet little thing that my mom got made for me just as like a memorabilia thing to keep. I just thought that was really sweet. So, love that. Um, Oh, uh, so this is, oh, okay, I'm going to freak out looking through all this. There's a ton though, so I'm going to have to go fast. Um, this, so one of my friends, Tiffany, um, who was originally a subscriber, then an Instagram friend, and then a real life friend, an amazing human being, she sent me a box of stuff in the mail, and I just kept a little note that she sent with it. Gosh, she's the cutest and now she's in Disney World working she got accepted to her college program and it just made me so happy so she sent me this when she was still in California but she's just the sweetest thing so Tiffany hello if you're watching I love you and I still have your little note um and then these this was Marley's um roommate gift to us at the beginning these were like up above our sliding doors out to the patio deck Thing in our apartment and we all had them from our she made these for our roommate gifts so you guys have seen these before but I just love it so much it's almost been two years since she made this which is insane because she made it May 27th 2017 oh my gosh nuts but so I love that that's a great memory um let's see what this is oh. This is um, a little note Mackenzie left me when I was um, leaving the program. Oh my gosh, that's so sweet. Goodbyes are not forever or not the end. It simply means I miss you until we meet again. I mean, it's a it's a long note, but she put that at the at the end. I love that. That's so crazy to me. And this one, this one really gets me. <clears throat> um when Marley left, so at the end of her program, which she left in January and the rest of us extended, um, her parents, when they were all moving her out, left us all little notes, um, just being the wonderful people that they are. And this note literally made me cry because I was so depressed that Marley was leaving and I just love her parents, they're so sweet. And they watch all my videos, I'm pretty sure they still do. So if they're watching, hello Kyle and Melissa, I love you guys. They're the sweetest people in the world. And so they wrote us all individual little notes and this just like makes me wanna sob thinking about like how close me and Marley are and still are. It's just so sweet like to read this 
even from like over a year ago and just like see how much we've grown to be even better friends now. So that just makes me so happy seeing that. Okay, these, the classic graduation ears. And I actually, fun fact, don't have a certificate from the college program um, because I never like registered on dorms, which is like the college program like system that they like talk, communicate with you through and you're supposed to like register for events online and stuff. And I did not register for the graduation. I just kind of went and showed up. Um, so like you still got the ears and you got to do a, other things, but like you couldn't eat the food and you didn't get a certificate printed with your name on it, which I did not know. So I don't have the classic Disney college program certificate, but whatever. Um, so register for your graduation if you are going because you will not get the thing with your name on it but yeah got the classic graduation ears can't go wrong with that and then here is the dcp memory box that they give you this clearly is too small for me so it's still in the package and in my bigger memory box okay so this is like the weird stuff you're like why did i keep this <laughs> um but this was this was a bag from the first ever mickey's not so scary halloween party that i ever went to um i actually went with my aunt and my two cousins. This was like at the very, very beginning of my program. Yeah, I hadn't even started my first day of work because I remember sitting on the street waiting for the parade to start and all of the cone shop people came out and took like a big group picture in the middle of the empty main street. They had a photo pass person take a picture of them and I was like, oh my gosh, like those are my people and I just got so excited. So yeah, I hadn't even, started at my work location yet. So this was the first um, Halloween party I had ever been to ever in my life. So I kept the treat bag. Um, and then also from that, we all dressed up like Winnie the Pooh characters. I'm digging down at the bottom for this one because this was like one of the first things ever. Um, so we all dressed up as Winnie the Pooh characters and I was Pooh and so here's my Pooh shirt, <laughs> Pooh, and my little Winnie the Pooh ears. So that's a funny thing. So I kept that. Um, I, I, I mean, the costume is fun to keep for memory purposes. This, not sure why, but you know, it's just those things that you feel is so necessary at the time, you know? Um, and funny, I filmed that entire party with my cousins and I was so excited because it was my first one. Never uploaded that video. Don't know what happened to the footage. Never uploaded it. So sorry you all never saw that vlog, but whatever. Um, okay, so this is kind of fun. Um, one day at work, they were just giving out these cups. And one, I love it because they say um, Magic Kingdom on it, which surprisingly, Disney World sells hardly any Magic Kingdom merchandise. Like anything that's Magic Kingdom or that has the castle on it says Walt Disney World. And it's so annoying. But we got these cups and it says Magic Kingdom on them, which I love. But even better, on the back it says Park Arrival Main Street USA and has a little Dapper Dan hat over here. So that's just the coolest thing having worked on Main Street to have a little piece of merchandise specifically from that, which is awesome. These are my little cat ears <laughs> from when I dressed up like a cat for Halloween. Um, one of my coworkers was having a party, so I literally threw together like the most last minute little costume and got these at Forever 21, but kept the ears because it was necessary. <laughs> um, okay, so this is actually the um, bracelet from Very Merry Christmas Party that my sister and I just went to. I wrote, I write everything on the back. So this wasn't for my college program, but this was just, I guess, cause I just wanted to keep it. Um, so it says Sister Sh Sister Trip 2018 <laughs> right there on the back. Um, so not for my college program, but still a lovely memory that I want to keep track of. This is a the little candy corn Halloween bracelet. For the first time that my family came to visit when I was at my program, we went to a Halloween party. Um, and Jack and I dressed up like Ray and Evangeline from The Princess and the Frog. And these are Jack's little 
Ray ears. They're a little messed up. And then my Evangelina had a big old star on my head. Let's see if it still lights up. Oh, dang it. It's dead. But that was, it was a pretty cute costume if I do say so myself. Okay, let's see what this is. I kept so much weird stuff. Oh, <laughs> I kept this. It says, I love you so much, sweet dreams <laughs> from Mackenzie. <laughs> She's so cute. She like left notes all the time. So, Mackenzie, you're the cutest. Aww. So this is um, a Four Keys card that I got that was printed off um, and given to me by one of my leaders. Um, and yeah, this was sweet. Dear Sarah, thank you for making a difference and having us create an unforgettable experience. You wanted to recognize me for show and efficiency. Thank you for providing excellent service. The guest said that you were super sweet and friendly. You made their visit a magical one. <laughs> That's so fun. Literally getting guest compliments is like the greatest thing ever. So I kept that one. Um, let's see what else we have. Oh, oh, this is all California stuff. So fun. Okay, so here is my first visit button. Oh my gosh. So there's my first visit button from Disneyland which was the best thing ever. Um, and then I have all of my um, Disneyland park tickets that we got, um, which is just so cool to have the paper tickets. Disney World used to do the paper fast passes, but they don't do them anymore. So I like wanted to hoard <laughs> the Disneyland fast passes. Um, so we have one for, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, Haunted Mansion. Um, this one was from uh, Matterhorn. We literally just like took it out of the, we just like had one printed out even though it like, it was like, this is not a valid fast pass ticket. We just like wanted the one that had <laughs> Matterhorn at the top. Um, and then, and this one was Indiana Jones, which was by far my favorite ride at Disneyland. So, I love having the paper fast passes. Then this was our little photo pass card. And then we all, or, um, I grabbed a little license from um, Autopia, which was, which is like Tomorrowland Speedway in Disneyland, which was obviously where Catherine works. So I got a little piece of memorabilia from that in Disneyland, which was so fun. By far one of the best trips I've ever taken ever. It was amazing and then if you all remember while we were there Jamie and I went to LA and Amy Puddles as she's known on YouTube gave us a tour around LA and just gave us a wonderful time and she worked at Netflix I think she still works for Netflix um, but she gave us stickers that had Netflix and Stranger Things on them so we got fun little stickers from her which was super sweet and she's lovely. Um, I just found another button in here which was um, from Mickey's 90th birthday or not 90th I guess um, but it was just celebrating Mickey's birthday which was very fun. Oh this oh gosh this was the ticket for the shuttle ride that Janie and I took from Anaheim to LAX when we were flying back to Orlando from California. And it was literally the most stressful experience of our lives. So I had to keep this to document, which was insanity. I have Odab Design's little business card. That's no longer their name, as I said before, but they were the first people to ever like really reach out to me or send me merchandise or anything like that. So I, I mean, I have lots of things of theirs, obviously, but I just kept the first little business card they sent me, which is sweet. And then this is when I just get confused at myself and I'm like, why did I do this? I literally have so many of my little bump out tickets or not even bump out tickets, but just like my, like Sarah Beth, you have been assigned to your break or whatever. Like it was just weird. Like I kept so many of these little things. Like there's hordes of them in here. Um, aww. I love seeing like who gave me these. Um, so 
Bailey, if you're watching, hi girl. Um, this one, so these are what the little bump out sheets look like. This one's kind of faded because it was crumbled a bit, but it says, welcome Bailey Burke. So my friend Bailey actually gave me this break, which was super fun, but that meant we weren't going on break together. So I was probably sad. Um, oh, and Bailey, you had to pick up Stalker. My bad. <laughs> Sorry. Stalker is the absolute worst position. So that's fine. Um, please pick up scoop one. Ooh, it's time for your bump out. That is the best thing to see. So I have tons of these. Um, it's just like one of those things that's like, why did I keep these? But there's also just like something that you just like have to keep about them. I don't, I don't know why. Tons of them. This is another thing that was like kind of crazy obsessive. Um, but I actually kept the telecast from every week that I was in the Disney College program. So I have the telecast literally from every single week. This is just a very small stack of them. I have the rest of them packed up somewhere, but um, literally, and if you don't know what a telecast is, which I had no idea before I was a cast member, obviously, but it's like a program guide, sort of. So there's like always a cast member on the front with like a little quote and what they do. Um, then it has all information you could possibly imagine for the Disney park. So it has like, or for the park that you're working in. So it has like all of the, so it's like the park hours for everything um, for like that week. And then it has like, um, like food and beverage. So if people are like, where can I find pretzels? Like it'll tell you where the pretzel stand is and all the guest services, everything, um, times for all the shows important numbers on the back. Generally any cast member that you run into will have a telecast and if you ask them they can pull it out and tell you all the information. Um, here is one from the Halloween party. They all looked different and then I have one from the Christmas parties too that maybe is down in here. Uh, I might find that at some point. I don't know. But yeah so I have every telecast from all the weeks that I worked there which again why? I don't know. It's just the thing that you need to do. This is the button that I got when I was celebrating with my friend Madison, um, our DCP extensions. So I got this button and we took pictures in Epcot and had a fun day just hanging out there. So got that button. I actually have very few of these buttons. This may be the only one that I have in here, honestly. I don't know that I even kept any other ones. Yeah, I don't know. So I was low on buttons. Um... Let's see, ooh, my official Speedway license. Um, so I have one from Speedway and from Autopia in um, Disneyland. And Catherine wrote my name on the back of this one. So this one says Sarah Beth, and it was on November 7th, 2017, which is crazy. <laughs> crazy that was in 2017. This is from when I became a Universal annual pass holder, which is a regret. I did not like Universal that much, but Whatever, it was good. I got to go a couple of times and then would never put this on the back of my car, but I have it if I want it. Um, oh, here's another Four Keys card. Oh, this is from Miss Pat. I'm trying to remember what this was from. I think we had a really, really, really crazy night and Miss Pat gave Four Keys card to everyone that, everyone that closed because it was such a crazy night. But she just thank you. She just said thank you for your hard work. Great job. So that was from Miss Pat, who was one of our coordinators. She's lovely. So that was another four keys card. What is this? Oh my gosh! Holy cow! Okay, so this was from like my training. So like before I even started in the cone shop. Um, we had like so it was like our food and beverage training. And we had to do a weird, it wasn't even like, it was kind of like a memorization thing. It was just like to practice learning the menu. Um, obviously, I didn't really have to do that as much because I was just ice cream and I wasn't serving anybody or anything. But we got um, the menu for Be Our Guest and we had to like separate it out and like try to memorize the order of like, if it was like a sandwich or a soup or whatever. So we had to like cut them all out and then like assign a number to each of them. So there were seven on here 
and then we had to write them down on like another sheet by memory was like what the name of it was and then what item of food it was. So that was just like a little training thing that we had to do to like prepare for food service or whatever. So that was, I kept that, that was kind of a fun thing. Um, let's see, what is this? Oh, okay, so this is the sheet that they gave me, I guess at Traditions. Um, but this has my training schedule on it. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. So this is like the sheet that like has my information on it. So it says Sarah, Sarah Beth Marlowe. And this was like my day one of training and then my day two of training. So I had like all the places to go and what buses to take. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Let's see. Float, sink. Oh! <laughs> okay, so this was training in my, like, in the cone shop location with my trainer, Jose, who turned out, like, who ended up being one of my best friends on the program. He's awesome. But during training, um, he had us write down, or he wrote down all of the options that we had. So, like, a float, what all they say? A float, a kitchen sink, a single, a kid, a double all this stuff so he wrote these down and then we had to this is like part of our training by memory know like how many ounces was in each of those options um and so we were writing all those down by memory um let me see if that's right yeah i got them right going oh this is sweet um let me see if i can find this girl her name was alexandra and she painted me a little um portrait with me with little fox ears on which is so sweet or we met up in magic kingdom because she said she had something to give to me so that was that was really cool um that was a crazy experience that was my first one like that okay let's see oh this is sweet so this is um a letter that jack's sister ellie actually sent me while i was on the program um, so she just wrote me like a sweet little letter and mailed it to me there, um, for Christmas, which was really sweet. So I kept that, um, and Ellie watches a lot of my videos too. So if you're watching now, hello Ellie, I love you. <laughs> and then, oh, this is the, um, original letter that the, um, Julie and Mike from ODAB Designs, which is now Magical Dreamers Apparel sent me so I have their original note that they sent which was so sweet so I kept that um ooh this is what is this oh sometimes they just like grab you for like extra little training classes or recaps or something I don't think that I actually went to this though oh no I actually forgot that I had this and so I missed it it was from 10 to noon so I think I started at 1 and came in late because I forgot that I had this meeting but it has the back with the Magic Kingdom tunnel map on the back which is kind of a cool thing um, this is just a pamphlet from food and wine no big deal um, this is a letter I think this might be from Amy Snyder who sent me yes this is from Amy Snyder. So she's the one that sent me the cross stitched picture. It's actually right there. Um, packed up in my pile of um, wall decorations to take to wherever I'm moving next. But yeah, so this is the note that she sent me whenever she sent me that package, which was so crazy and so cool. I am still obsessed with it. Amy, you're the best. If you still watch these, hello. This is this. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, this is weird. Um, so every once in a while, so they're like under the tunnels in Magic Kingdom, they'll just have like random things happening. Like literally a couple times when there was a full on DJ in the tunnels, like party happening, they'll have characters meet down there sometimes. I mean, it's very rare. They always have characters out for holidays and stuff. And sometimes they'll just be handing out random stuff. So this one's literally a Magic Kingdom flashlight. Um, which is so random, but it says Magic Kingdom on it, so I'm here for it. 
yeah so that was like a random gift and they just like stop you until you take them you're like okay whatever um this is my water bottle from mckenzie um she gave us these for our roommate gifts mine and this actually i think i did end up putting it in the video um yeah i put these in there so it just has my name on it with a little mickey on it which is so cute and let's see these this is my oh so much stuff just flew off of that this is my lay from my that first vlog that we were park hopping or resort hopping rather and we went to the polynesian and watched the fireworks for the first time and i kept my lay from that let's see i have some pins in here oh yes okay so this one is a tinkerbell pin from Thanksgiving and so it's Tinkerbell with a big old slice of pumpkin pie which is really fun and then I have a lot of pins in here I probably won't show them all um, but this one I had to get of course which is a dinosaur pin I got this on like on the very last day that I was leaving I went back and got it um, I literally love that pin so much Aww, my earning my ear sticker that's so crazy, oh my gosh. What is this from? Okay, so this is a wrist brand from a very Merry Christmas party, which I don't have it written down which one, but I think I just went to one on my program. I think I just went to one of the Christmas parties, so. Um, here are some specific to Main Street stickers, which I love. It's Mickey and Minnie in their little dapper outfits, which is so cute, um, and you could only get those at um, Main Street locations, so I have a whole big stack of them, which those are just too fun. Um, oh, okay. The day I was leaving um, for the rest of the roommates, like for the rest of the original roommates that were still there, I had bought um, this hat from Cast Connection, like in the Mickey's Treasures room, so it was like four bucks or something and it had a bunch of Animal Kingdom pins on it. I wrote each of the original roommates a little note and then pinned an Animal Kingdom pin on each of them. So this one was mine that I kept from the collection and then I gave everyone else one of the pins that was also on the hat that was Animal Kingdom just because Animal Kingdom was like our park. I don't know. It was a fun thing. So I thought that was cool. What is this? Oh, this is the winter formal wristband that we had. Marley and I just like last minute randomly decided to go to the formal. I got off work early, I think. Maybe I got an ER. I'm not totally sure. But yeah, we went to the formal, which was so fun. I'm glad we did. We really, it was such a last minute decision. I was like, I'm not going to go. But that was one thing I'm so glad we did do. Just a twisty Mickey straw, you know, why not? You can't, you can't pass it up. Oh, let's see what this is. Oh, fun! So this was, this is a sticker from one of my character performer auditions. And this one says, character performer audition 10 5, 17. Okay, so October 5th, I went to a character performer audition failed as all of the performer auditions did but hey I went um here's another telecast oh this one was from the 46th anniversary of Magic Kingdom so that was kind of cool that one has the partner statue on it this one one of um, my friends actually got for me it was the 65th anniversary of Peter Pan and they had some limited edition pins and she got me this one and little Nana moves down here which is really cute um and michael's sprinkling pixie dust on her booty um this is a pen it's like one of the old um e-ticket kind of deals this one is a fast pass for everest which is cool and then mckenzie actually got me this one and left it with um left it for me with a note on my bed and it's a little dinosaur head so i love this one and I really do love pins and I collected them quite a bit and um, traded them a lot, which was fun. So 
but it's not like enough of a collection like makes it a big deal like i have a pretty big collection of just peter pan themed ones but then there were just a couple other ones that i liked that i had to get to so I kept those around Oh, this, this is a little keychain that says, um, I love New Zealand and it has the New Zealand flag on it. One of my coworkers, um, we adore him. His name was Sandro. Um, we just, he's a sweet, sweet little guy. And so he gave me this little New Zealand keychain, um, when I was leaving just as a little gift to remember him by. So Sandro, what a sweet sweet little nugget <laughs> okay this is um we did an enchanted tales with enchanted tales with Belle, which i think is one of the most underrated attractions in disney world it is literally so much fun and such a good character interaction it's like so up close and personal and she gives you a little bookmark when you're a part of the show which is really cute and then i have excessive loads of maps from Disneyland <laughs> that I gathered. I got one for like all my family and stuff, but I actually just like never really gave them, I guess. But there were lots of extra ones for my family. So we have California Adventure and Disneyland, which is fun. Okay, and then here's the last two little things in this box. There's a couple more stuff, but it's just kind of like random more tickets and telecasts and things. Um, so this is another little note from Mackenzie. Um, and if you guys had seen these in our, um, apartments, Mackenzie actually wrote us notes that actually lived on top of these little things. Um, so mine was from Snow White and it said, Sarah Beth, remember you're the only one who can fill the world with sunshine. And Mackenzie wrote all of those and left them on top of there. And then I can't remember who made this. I cannot remember who made this, but it's a little receipt um, that was folded into like a little t-shirt, um, which is so cute. And on the back it says um, Walt Disney World and then hashtag cone shop, hashtag MSN, which is uh, Main Street North. Yeah, that's most of my stuff, I think, which is so crazy. Holy cow. That's so insane to go back and look through all of this. Um, okay, I'm going to wrap this video up because it's literally so late and my camera is flashing at me dying. But yeah, that's so fun to look through all of that stuff. Just a happy one year anniversary from self-terming from the Disney College program to me. And just what a fun way to like look back on all of it. I cannot believe it was I left a year ago. That's so insane. But yeah, let me know what are some of your favorite memories from vlogs maybe that you're a member of mine or if, if you saw anything that you remember seeing in videos or stuff you want to hear more about, ask questions, whatever you want to do. Um, or share with me some of your favorite DCP memories or Disney memories in general. I'll be gone for a week, but I will have this video posted within the week. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it so much and I love you guys so much and I can't wait to See you again soon. All right, that's it for me tonight. Bye.